Oh uh, well, well, occasional tiger or two would come by and they'd try to try and drag you out of your uh, foxhole or something like that. There, uh, three or four herd of monkeys. Uh, one night we ambushed a herd of elephants. Um, we call we'll talk about bandicoot rats or uh, snakes or uh, lizards or tarantulas or scorpions or anything like that. There, we wouldn't want to mention water buffalo that were either domestic or wild. And as far as we're concerned, they're all wild. Uh, uh, were there any animals? Yeah, there was a few. Uh, we, we won't talk about a porcupine about the size of the number 10 wash tub that come crawling through the perimeter one night. Um, uh, we had one guy, uh, the, the point man, uh, uh, was uh, 15 or 20 feet in front of me, and the platoon uh, sergeant roach was in front of me, and uh, we had a tiger step right in the path between us, and uh, uh, we had to light the tiger up because he was going after the point man for dinner. So uh, yeah, there was a few critters out there that were that were fairly dangerous, and we wouldn't, we wouldn't want to talk about the uh, malaria mosquitoes to to throw in there, you know, just just for good measure, and maybe a leech or two. Now I, I was in the Navy, so I didn't see many of the land animals, but uh, in the rivers uh, they they were called sea snakes, and these snakes were eight eight to ten to twelve feet long, and they sort of were out in a cluster. They don't be like a a, a ball of yarn, and. Uh, we just sort of watch them, watch them over the side of the ship. But uh, I, I never seen snakes that big, and they were in the rivers and the deltas of Vietnam. These sea snakes, which I've never seen since, and I don't really care to. My my first time over there, I spent 51 weeks in a GP medium tent, which is approximately 30 feet by 20 feet, and there were eight, six of us in that tent for 52 week, 51 weeks. And the last week I was there, our ex executive officer decided that we need to move into. They had built a barracks for. Uh, for us with concrete floors and uh, so they tore the tent down and we were walking in the tent on uh, ammo boxes, uh, pallets uh, and uh, when they lifted up the pallets there were tarantula snakes, uh, all kinds of animals that had been living under our feet uh, for that whole year that we never even knew uh, were there so uh, <laughs> that was one experience in base camp. Where we were uh we didn't see a lot of uh, uh, jungle animals. We were in the Da Nang area, and it was pretty much a low, flat, uh, rice paddy type uh, terrain. Uh, we did see some large rats, uh, about the size of an American raccoon. Uh, they, they were formidable. Uh, but the thing that caught our attention was the centipedes. Uh, these centipedes would be about a foot long. Uh, they'd be about an inch wide. Uh, they are nice golden brown color. Uh, they had huge pinchers, and they were pretty aggressive. And they loved to get into our, uh, uh, what we called hooches, our little places where we would stash our equipment and we might take a cat nap from time to time. Uh, centipedes wanted to get out of the sun, and so they would come into these hooches and, and burrow down underneath our equipment. Um, if you inadvertently sat down on one of those, or if you lay down on one of those, uh, their pinch uh, or bite, if you want to call it that, uh, was pretty severe, and it was very, very aggravating. The other thing that we enjoyed watching were the little lizards. Uh, they were called cockai, um, and they would run on their two back legs, and they had these big flaps of tissue that would come up behind their head and look like a real fierce creature. They were about 10 inches, 11 inches long. And they'd run out across the ground and get up in a stick of some kind or a branch of some kind and, uh, and look ferocious, you know, trying to chase the big Marines away from them. Uh, but they were more an entertainment thing than anything. They didn't, they didn't cause any problem. Uh, and then we had an occasional water buffalo come wandering by. Most of the time they were corralled by the owners, but every once in a while one would get loose and they'd just wander by. They were pretty peaceful animals. They didn't bother us necessarily, and we didn't bother them. Uh, pretty soon somebody would come along, collect it, and take it back to where it's supposed to be.